Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today, as we all know guys, an exciting video that I know you've been waiting for because I asked you part one to this video. If you wanted me to do part two and mix the soft and free curl activator lotion with the soft and free curl activator gel. Majority of you, in fact, I think all of you said yes. And I'm really excited to see how this turns out. That last year, so it was, it was yeah. Grab that, we're gonna move on, we're gonna improve it. My hair is freshly washed. And today, guys, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna get into it because I've given you an introduction to both of these products. And I'm just gonna use them, let my hair air dry, and I'll come back to you and give you my final verdict. So, let's just begin. How much you mean to me I can get my head around 
as you can see my hair looks quite thick because I started by clumping it together and then it kind of looked kind of stringy to me so I've decided to rake through my hair so it gives the illusion that I've got fuller curls so I don't, I don't actually know how this is going to turn out I mean the lotion by itself turned out pretty good in the beginning before my hair dried so I'm kind of excited to see how this goes because this gel does actually fail me this gel is actually pretty good I don't necessarily think this gel needs to have a leave-in underneath either it's so moisturizing Hopefully the gel works its magic with this Curl Activator Lotion and uh, just take it from there. But I'm going to finish the other side of camera guys just because I'll come back to you once my hair is fully coated and once my hair is fully dried. It's a follow up to the first one. I just want my hair to dry so I just really want to see the end result and I know you do too. So I will be back guys. So the products are fully applied. It looks like how my hair looked. Applied the Soft and Free Curl Activator Lotion by itself. And it kind of feels like that, even though I've put tons of gel on top of it, the gel activator. So I'm hoping it's going to dry nicely and not all matted looking and crazy <laughs> like it did in the last video. This is my third day here with the Soft and Free Curl Activator Lotion, not gel, lotion. As you can see, I've got a lot of volume. I've got a lot of frizz. Uh, I've got a lot of shrinkage. <sighs> Fingers crossed. I'm going to let it air dry because I don't want any excess air on my hair to manipulate my hair and plus I want it to be a fair review as I usually do because the last one I let air dry so this is going to have to air dry and we're just going to have to see the results. Alright guys so I will be back when my hair is fully dry. These are the final results of the mix and overall I think it's okay. I do like how it's turned out. I've got more control over my hair, more movement. It's not as frizzy. It's definitely moisturised feels full it doesn't feel sticky or tacky or greasy or anything as you can see i've got a bit of frizz this is what second day hair my hair took quite a while to dry i mean it's okay it looks to me it just feels like another one of my wash and goes that took a lot of effort if that makes sense i do like how it looks i do like the final result but i felt it took a lot of effort to get to this point so I think initially the gel can definitely gel activator can definitely be used by itself. Whereas the lotion, I think possibly maybe use that as a leave-in. I know it says just that it's activator and moisturizer. So I'd most probably use it as a moisturizer, just to you know any parts of my hair that may be dry if I'm doing like a bun or what have you. But overall, I think the gel has to win on this part. It definitely feels moisturized. So I would do this again, but again, I think just with the gel. Or maybe not so much of this. Maybe use like a handful of this for the whole of my hair rather than do it in sections. So let me just quickly show you the back. So even though I've got volume, I'm feeling like my hair's a little flat. A little bit flat at the back. Got a lot of shrinkage. And yeah, that's it really. I mean, I like it. Let me just take these clips out and show you how my hair actually falls. It does. Yeah, there you go. I haven't finalised my thoughts on it yet. I'm not sure, guys. I don't know. Feels nice. It does feel nice and moisturised, definitely. Um, I've got a nice bounce, nice volume. I think the thing that put me off is how long it took to dry and the amount of effort. So, like, applying the lotion is almost like applying a styler and then I have to go and apply a styler on top. I think that's what kind of put me off because I want my wash and goes to be quick. As I said, I have kids and I don't want to be sitting here doing my hair all day. But yes, that is it, guys. What do you think? As you can see, my curls love it. Very juicy curls. My hair feels very lightweight. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That is the mix. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any other recommendations for me, let me know and I will try my best to do them. But uh, I think that is it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.